hello guys welcome back and in this video I am going to show you how to create views and dashboards I am on my operations manager console and here you can see I am on monitoring tab and there are views like active alerts okay that is one view discovery inventory then distributed applications so these are views and for Linux and computers this is called state view so you can understand why this symbols if I right click and click on new you can see it's a state view this is called event view that discovery inventory and then alert view that is this one and then uh, diagram view task status view web page view dashboard views these are the views so in this video I am going to show you how to create a state view dashboard view or uh, one performance view okay so why we need these views right so if I go over here you can see it says active alerts and these are the alerts that are still active okay but everyone in your organization not interested in all the alerts right like uh, DB team they are not interested in alerts that is generated by DCs okay or domain controllers they don't have to do anything with those domain controllers right or if there is any alert for web servers those alerts are useless for database server and the database servers alerts are useless for support guys like who are going to support the web applications so we need to create views for a specific team or uh, for a specific uh, group okay then we need to provide access only to those views that is related to their team or that group okay so by default these are the views like windows computers views unix computer views so these are default when you install operations manager these views are by default windows computers show all the state or uh, state view of all windows computers right and linux computers shows all the state for uh, linux computers okay it is not specific for any group what we do is here you can see these are the management packs management packs also have some views like active directory domain services has these views all active alerts so here you can see it's only showing the alerts that is related to domain controller okay not the others alerts right and if i go to all performance data you can see it's uh, not showing anything because um, you know counter is not selected so if i select any counter i can see the performance view as well okay i need to change the time range because the server was not running these are you know sealed management packs so these are the views where you cannot create new views under these okay this is uh, grayed out so what we have to do if we need to you know create uh, specific views for any specific team or group what we can do so for a unix team you know you only want alerts related to unix okay so unix computers has already has some views but let's create our own views or dashboards as well so here you can see web os3 management pack that i have created uh, earlier so whenever you create a management pack okay your own management pack you will see one folder over here so here you can see i have just created this my management packs and i can see a folder over here okay and if you don't want to create a management pack and simply you can just create new folder okay and just uh, you need to put this under any folder okay in the end so if you have already have a management pack and you just want to create folder you can do that as well okay like my views and I need to select uh, let's say my management packs and click on okay okay so it will take 
few seconds so here you can see it says creating folder views okay so now it says ready and now if I check here you can see it says my views but it is not under my management packs okay it's a new views but yes behind the scene it is going to reside in this management pack okay and if I have created this views or folder over here it should be under that so that management pack is already selected and this one will be under my management packs so if your servers are running on low resources please keep patience because it takes time okay so that's created and if I just click on this little icon you can see it's uh, my new views over here okay and uh, if I want to create new view I can just right click and click on new and I can choose any views from here so let's uh, create one state view okay so give it a name like uh, SQL servers up down up down alert okay you can give the descriptions and here you can select windows computers for targets it should be under common targets so here you can see it's a windows server okay click on yes and here you can select a specific group otherwise it is going to show you all windows server and here i have already shown you how to create groups so you can watch that video and uh, let's search so here you can see it says web os3 all dcs so i have created this group earlier but i think this group has only dcs so let me just check that quickly view group members so you can see it has only bin dc so let me quickly create a new group okay so i have created one group let's see the members so you can see it's a sql server only let's go to monitoring once again click new state view so here i have selected windows server so data related to windows server and i am going to define a group that is sql server group and it has uh, one sql server that is uh, actually sql server of this uh, scom okay and uh, here you can see it says uh, with a health state so what type of health state you want to see you can create a views only for the critical health okay but let's say i want to see all health states might be critical health warning healthy or not monitor everything but yes it is going to just scope it to a specific group that is sql servers okay and here you can just uh, display more things related to like logical processor physical processor net bios name dns name whatever you want you can uh, select from here you can just short it by physical processor logical processor name okay ascending descending so you can set those things under display what is your requirement just select those things and uh, click on ok so here you can see it says fail to create views so that's good to see the error because you will understand what's going on here it says there was a problem creating the view because this sql server group is defined in webos 3 management pack and i am creating this view in my management packs okay so the related targets are different so what i need to do is i need to you know change the management group for uh, sql server or create a group in uh, my management packs or i can create this view in web os3 management packs under that management pack okay let me check if i can change the management pack so it is created in webos 3 by mistake and uh, i don't see any option where i can change the management pack so let me delete it and just recreate so here you can see it says deleting group so just 
you know if i click right now so anywhere in operations console it is not going to do anything okay so just keep patience and uh, see over here so once it is in ready state then you can just click anywhere on operations okay so group is deleted let me quickly recreate once again okay so i have chosen my management packs click on next i have recreated a SQL group so let's go to monitoring so windows server is SQL server group and with a specific health state select all click on ok so i have discussed about other things like display ok and i have last time selected logical and physical processors click on ok so it's a database error mp infra management pack install failed cannot resolve identifier microsoft system center instance group library ok sometimes actually it gives error this kind of error so here see some database error because my database was shut down so i have restarted my database let's try once again okay so you can see now it's saving new views so actually you know if sql server has some issue you can just restart your operation console and then reconnect i just closed my operations console and then restarted it and i think all good now okay so you can see i have created a views uh, under my new views as well so there should not be any issue just restart your operations console and you are good to go okay and uh, let me just uh, change the, some properties like uh, you can see if i don't want to see path or maintenance mode you can just uncheck those if you want to see logical processor or physical processor and uh, click on ok let's see how it goes ok so now you can see logical processor physical processor okay, if it is in maintenance mode you will see one range over here so this is a state view and uh, now if you want to give this access to sql team only ok you can just uh, watch my other video user creation ok and here you will see how to wide access to a specific views to any security group okay so this is a state view and uh, as i said i will show you how to create a performance view but things are similar like i want to see the performance of sql server okay name it sql servers logical disk utilization and now this is the so data related to this is the main thing so here i can find logical disk and here you can see it says linux windows server operating okay so i want this operating system library click on ok and then i want to show only for the sql so i will select this sql servers group and then collected by specific rule with a specific object name what data you want to show here like the data that is collected by any specific rule or any object name here you can write the object name okay but in my case i am going to select the specific rule that i know that actually collects data or related to logical processor so here if i scroll down i will see you can go for the free memory checks but for me logical disk okay logical processor logical disk free megabytes okay let me select this one for logical disk free megabytes windows server 2016 and above so i will go with this one because in my environment all servers are 2019 but yeah if you are not sure you can check and here the thing is you need to just um, hit and trial which one is working for you for different scenario this uh, rule might be different or you have created your own rules so that also depends let's go to display and here you can see the data return all data in last one days one minute one hour or uh, you can change the chart type naval 3d so it will look like this and uh, so x axis okay you can play around with these options click on okay and it will create a performance view 
for logical disk utilization only for SQL Server because we have selected SQL Server in the group. Okay, so here you can see SQL Server's logical disk utilization views I have created, and it is showing only C drive target and uh, SQL Server only. Okay, if I have not selected any group. It should have shown all the Windows servers that are monitored via this SCOM server. Okay, so if I just select this, it will show you the utilization because it is slow, very slow. Okay, <laughs> so now you can see some data over here. And if you want to change the range because it is actually one day, let me change it to five, six days. And if you want to personalize the views, you can do it from here okay so this is a performance view so this one is a state view so this is going to just show you the state of that server those are in that group okay but alert view is going to show you all the alerts related to those uh, servers that is in that group okay you can just select the severity like you can create a sql server critical alerts okay and you can just select the severity to critical and only those alerts is going to shown over there in that views okay so those are the views you can just create by yourself let's create one more view that is dashboard view and dashboard views is mostly you know useful for uh, for team leads or uh, just don't want to know about the alerts they just see one one dashboard and can understand like is there any any server is down or something like that okay so there are some layout like grid layout column layout summary dashboard let's go with the uh, grid layout and it's all templates selected you can just play around with these other options for me just go to grid layout and as per this selection you can see here things are changing okay grid layout is like have multiple grids and then you can specify the views in in those grids so let's uh, cool server dashboard and uh, click on next and here it says one cell two cell three cell so let me just choose let's go with three cells and uh, i will choose this one click on next and then create okay so dashboard is created and here you can see this is sql service dashboard and you need to add widget to these grids so click on click to add widget and here you can see sli widget alert widget and state tiles grid layout image widget so let's try a state widget so i will select this one and then the name so i want to show all the sql servers that is in critical state click on next here you need to add a scope so scope is again the group and this is uh, select the members of the specified group so these are objects or uh, you can search from here like any active directory what actually those objects or computer objects so if i search for computers you can see these are windows servers so here you can see windows computer windows computer role or server 2016 so these are windows server 2016 and above select that click on ok and then click on next and display objects only in the specified health yes because i want to see only the servers that is in critical health state okay or if you want to display only objects in maintenance mode so you can create another widget for that and then you can choose like icon health display name maintenance mode okay so there are multiple things that you can play around with okay so click on next and then create so it is not going to show anything because there is no servers with critical state okay and that's good okay so visualization was created and as i said there is no critical health state of any sql servers 
click on click to add widget so here i will go with uh, alerts so alerts widget click on next and uh, it says sql servers critical alerts click on next and again for group i will choose sql server click on ok then next and here is the criteria display alerts only with the specified severity yes i want the critical one and the priority should be high or medium and display alerts only with the specified resolution strict so i don't want this resolved and closed i just want the acknowledge assigned to engineering or new alerts click on next and then uh, the severity source maintenance name age so if you want another columns to be displayed you can just select from here click on next and then click on create in this visit you can see some alerts because there are alerts related to sql server and those are critical alerts those are old but i think that is still showing in active alerts okay, it's created click on close so it's not showing any critical alerts because i think there is no and if i want to just reconfigure click on personalize so if you click on personalize you can change the columns okay and uh, if you want to configure reconfigure like right now there is no alerts or showing so just go to criteria and select everything from here click on finish let's see what we have okay so now you can see so age is 124 days and i think these are resolved that's why it was not showing earlier and here if i just configure it to show the health um the healthy one just click on next and finish so group is dynamic group so whenever a new server is added to the monitoring which has uh, sql in its uh, netboys name it is going to show or add that uh, server to that group and you will see the alerts or state of that servers in your views as well okay so it's refreshing so now you can see well the sql server that's good but the, it should not be over here in real scenario okay so clear content actually clears the content from all the dashboards okay so just keep in mind don't think this content is going to just delete from this widget and i can change the layout from here so actually i don't think it's a good idea means if i have selected clear content from one widget it should only clear that widget and then it give us a chance to add a new widget okay so this is how we create uh, views and dashboards and you can also add a, a widget over here you can configure the layout from here and you can just clear the content you can swap like uh, if you want this one to the next it will swap okay so these are the things that you can do with the dashboards and dashboards are really helpful by viewing the dashboard once you can understand like what's going on in your environment okay that's it for this video and uh, I hope you will be able to create cool dashboards and views by your own and uh, if you have any query you can just comment and I will try my best to answer your queries. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.